Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to this video. I just wanted to film this video just to let you know where the hell my lazy ass has been. I know I haven't posted in like uh, three months, which that's a hella long time. But I'm not gonna lie, I've gotten kind of busy. Let me just update you on what's been going on with my life. Okay, um, whenever I first started posting videos, I was actually on my Christmas break from school. So I really had time to, you know, plan and film and, you know, get my ideas together. And I also wasn't working at the time. But school picked back up in around January, you know, the spring semester started. And so I took on, you know, I've been doing online classes for the past few months, or for the past few semesters. So I started that again. And also I got a new job. I've been at this job since like, I think like mid January. No, no, no. I've been at my new job since like, the ends of January, beginnings of February. So imagine that, okay? I'm going to school full time. Well, it's online, but like I'm doing school full time and I got a part-time job and I'm a mom and I'm a wife. So I guess they're kind of just excuses because I, I mean, if I really wanted to, I really had the energy to do it, I would find time to film videos, but I'm not gonna lie, I just did not have it in me. Mm -mm. No, I was tired doing homework all the time and then like having to cook and do laundry and blah 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 I mean if you're a mom or if you're married or if you even live alone at this point and you're not with your parents anymore you know that um, having to do everything yourself is not easy which okay not gonna lie I'm not okay I don't do everything myself my husband Daniel does help me a lot like a lot like it's incredible he supports me and Sara, my daughter, so much. Like, I love him so much for that. But anyways, I also decided to kind of like, kind of take a YouTube break because I felt like I was running out of ideas of things to do. Like, I literally did not know what other videos to film because I felt like everybody has already done all that. So I just needed a, I don't know. I just needed like, I was like on a, what is this called? Like a, like a creative block. I was just, I was just a little overwhelmed with everything that's been going on with my life, how everything's been kind of busy. And I'm taking four classes this semester. This last semester I took five, which I'm not gonna lie. So, bit off a little more than I could chew, so. And it's not that the classes are difficult either, they're just, just time consuming. I mean, there's no other word for me to describe it than time consuming. Time consuming. And also trying to keep up with my Instagram because I realize, you know, not posting on YouTube kind of has an effect on my social media growth. So I figured if I can at least, you know, stay a little bit more active on Instagram, then I won't be losing as many followers. But girl, let me tell you, it is hard keeping up on Instagram, especially when I do such basic makeup every day for work. Like I can't be posting the same basic ass looks to Instagram every day because people are going to be like, does this girl know how to do anything else? So well, another thing that happened about two to three weeks ago, guys, I got lip filler. Uh, I know, I don't like to say lip injections because the word injection has such a negative, people get real bothered by the word injection and people get bothered by any type of cosmetic enhancement in general. I didn't get much. I just really wanted to fix like these weird dips and folds that I had in my top lip. I have hated them for the longest time. They look so weird. If you go look on my Instagram, like you can totally tell. It's like on like the right side of my top lip. It just looks like folded and weird. I've always hated it. So I decided to go get lip filler and it was really nerve wracking. I did use numbing cream because I'm a little bitch when it comes to needles. So, you know, they injected me and everything. And I didn't use that much. The syringe had 0.5 mils and I used like 0.1 or 0.2 mils. Like I used very little, like not even half. And the first two weeks I liked it. I mean, I personally saw a really big difference. I'm pretty sure none of my family members are like, if I didn't tell you I got lip filler, you probably wouldn't have known because it was just so minimal what I did. And finally last week I was like, you know, I'm so ready to like get more and I'm not, <laughs> I'm not like becoming addicted or they're not injecting my lips with heroin or anything like that, you know. So I got them redone again a few days ago actually. And I just, I love how they turned out. The Aesthetic Center of Lubbock, they're such a great place. The ladies are so nice. I actually took my daughter with me to get my lip filler. And oh my gosh, they were 
obsessed with her. They loved her so much. They were so nice. They were patient because I had her. She thought I was great. She didn't even know what was going on. Great experience both times. I love how my lips look. It's not that big of a difference from when I, how I had them before, but I just, I just love myself so much. Like, I just love how I look. I don't even know if I'll want to go back. It's just, it's just something that I wanted to try out because I just always had this insecurity with my top lip. And there's nothing wrong with fixing what you don't like about yourself, and it's okay. I don't like that my eyebrows don't grow, so I fill them in so it looks like I have eyebrows. I don't like that my eyelashes are so short and thin and sparse, so I wear fake eyelashes. I don't like that I have shitty skin, so I put on foundation. It's just that type of stuff. Like, you don't have to be afraid of what people are gonna say, like, whatever. You know, just whatever. I did it, and I love the results and I might do it again in another year or however long this lasts, we'll see. But yeah, those are the only updates that I wanted to give you guys really. Other than that, my life's pretty boring, nothing else has really been going on. I just needed to let you guys know where I have been or what's been going on. And hopefully uh, within the next few weeks, I'll be posting more frequently just because it's al school's almost over and so I'll definitely have more time to film since I won't be having to deal with homework and reading and quizzes and stuff like that, so. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I feel the love. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Share the video, comment. Let me know what you think about lip filler. And if you're gonna be like a negative ass bitch, then don't even comment, because I'm gonna delete it right away, because I don't like that negative shit. Y'all are salty. I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Bye.